hello everyone welcome back to a brand new vlog it is tuesday afternoon and the last couple of days actually the last week has been really busy at the house we've been knuckling down and getting loads of bits done ready before the christmas seasonal busyness i really wanted to get loads of bits done before jack's birthday which is november the 21st and we're on the home stretch and i think we are gonna do it which is very exciting so this morning and yesterday i have been painting i have been head to toe covered in paint with my painting tracksuit on i've just had a quick freshen up and put some normal clothes on but i have so much to update you on so much to show you and yeah lots of exciting things are going on i haven't posted for my last two uploads last thursday and also monday this week and that is purely just because i felt like i needed to give my brain a bit of a break from vlogging sometimes when i'm vlogging week on week back to back two videos a week i almost get sick of the sound of my own voice and i feel like i just end up vlogging the same things and i just wanted to spend a bit of time focusing on other projects and the house and just yeah, have a little bit of time off. So apologies for the missed uploads, but we're back. And I feel like this time of year is always the busiest in terms of content and videos and things like that. So lots to come. But as I said, the last couple of days have been super busy. Over the weekend, me and Jack just dedicated the whole weekend to our to-do list. And it was very, very productive. We wrote a huge list of loads and loads of jobs kind of small things and then bigger things just all sorts of things to tick off and we managed to get everything done which was amazing so the dressing room is now completely panelled and i actually just finished painting that this morning so that is now pretty much all done minus a couple of tiny bits but it's ready for carpet which is so exciting i've ordered the carpet for the dressing room so that should be arriving hopefully later this week or maybe next week and that will be fit straight away so cannot wait to get the carpet in there it's just going to completely transform the room and make it feel so warm and cozy and just exactly how i want it to be so i have a few more bits to finalize um i've got some fabric samples to have a look at for a stool and also blinds so we can have a look at that in a bit I also painted the hallway upstairs yesterday. I just was getting so sick of the yellow and because that's the last section of yellow paint in the house, I just decided I want it to be painted before my deadline of November the 21st. And I made a start on that. So I've done the hallway and I painted the ceiling and I've done kind of a little bit of the stairs, but because that ceiling is so high, I'm gonna need my brother to help me. So I will show you that as well. We've had lots of deliveries. I've been ordering a couple of new bits for my wardrobe. On Friday night, I actually had a really lovely evening. Jack was out with some friends for drinks. So I poured myself a glass of wine. I put all the lamps on, I lit a candle, and I just spent a good few hours in the dressing room, tidying it up, sorting through all my stuff. I've got a huge bag, actually two bags, full of things that I want to donate and sell so i think that's going to be uploaded to vinted at some point um and i just had a good clear out and a good kind of re-look at my wardrobe and i've written a list of a couple of gaps that i want to fill in terms of some new bits and i did some ordering so we can go through those orders at some point as well but i am just about to fill up our new fridge and i am so excited about it I feel like this is when you know you're old, when you get a fridge and you're excited about it. But it got delivered this morning and it had to rest for five hours without being plugged in. So it is now time, I think, literally bang on, yes, bang on 2.30 and I can now plug it in and refill the fridge, which is just going to be so much better. That fridge that we had before was so old it had wooden shelves inside and we just needed a new one and excitingly i can actually now get rid of the freezer which is that big spaceship looking thing in the corner 
and yay I'm so happy about it so I'm gonna spend the rest of the afternoon just having a sort out I'm gonna show you all the updates in the house I'm in London tomorrow so I want to get everything done today and this evening um, it's actually Halloween so I must remember to light the pumpkins outside the house just in case we get any trick-or-treaters although I don't have any sweets the only thing I have is chocolate so hopefully that's okay but yeah time to fill up the fridge and organize it and I want it to be so nice and just functional and oh can't wait okay the fridge is organized and when I tell you our fridge is so empty because I haven't done a food shop um, but I used to have all of our vegetables in trays, like, um, plastic trays, and I way prefer them like this, because when I'm cooking, I can just take out this whole bowl, so I've got all my greens in here, tomatoes, and then big things up here, um, and I just find this easier, to be honest, I know some people don't like this, but whatever, um, and then down here is just meat and bits and bobs, some drinks, and then this is probably the most full section. Milks, wine, cheeses, yogurts, and kind of like desserts, and then like little snacks. It also does look absolutely ginormous here. I think really what we need to do is swap these two sections round. Um, that really needs to go against the wall, but that's something for another day and it's all fine i can still turn the light on and i can still get the door shut so all is well anyways let me give you a little house update so starting with the office the dining room is looking very busy because i have emptied out everything in the office my brother actually randomly came yesterday afternoon and started laying the underlay he wasn't scheduled to come, but he had a bit of time spare, so he popped over and made a start. So the office is looking like a proper room, finally. We've got the underlay out. I ripped the underlay out and the gripper and everything, so this is ready to go out um, into the barn for the skip. And, oh, it is just feeling so good in here. We actually went for a different jump axe in here just to soften the room. As you can hear, it's very echoey. Um, but this is the section that is finished and he needs to still come back and finish these two bits but it's looking amazing fireplace is looking amazing and once the underlay is laid we then are having herringbone lvt exactly the same as the living room we're going to have the double plank border around the edge and it's just going to look absolutely stunning. So what I need to do now is start thinking. I'm going to stand out here and talk because it's so echoey. Um, I need to start thinking about furnishing this room and how I want it to be. So I think, ideally, I want to do some panelling on the walls. Some really big, long boxes along the walls. Um, but that will probably be a bit of a Christmas job, I think. The week when Jack's off between Christmas and New Year, we're going to do a few projects, and I think maybe that will be one of them. But, yes, I need to decide what I'm going to do with my sofa bed. That will live here. And I want to get it recovered, so I need to pick a really nice fabric. I kind of want to do, like, a tweed or some sort of pattern or, like, a richer shade. I don't really want this room to be really neutral, um, I kind of want a little bit of depth, so I'm going to see what I can find. And then on this side, we I'm obviously going to have my desk in here and my computer and a chair, but I'm thinking to get some cabinets to go either side of this. I'm not sure whether to do just one side or do both, um, but there will be some cabinetry with some cupboards so I can store things away, and then I'll have some nice um, surface to put a lamp and maybe some frames or vases or something and I'm also contemplating getting some shelves put in between here um but yeah not 100% sure I feel like I need to again just live in the space and then make some decisions but I definitely know that I want to get a ceiling rose and a really beautiful light for in here because it's such a square room and because you see this quite a lot when you're downstairs we always have this door open I think having a beautiful light in here by the window will work really really nicely 
It is slowly getting darker and darker. The evenings are drawing in, now the clocks have gone back, but let me take you upstairs and show you my painting work. So, you can see from behind me, we still have a little bit of yellow, but that's the final bit of yellow because the hallway is white. I painted this yesterday, gave it a good whitewash. I think I've done three coats and I am going to do four just so it's super seamless, but we are going to be panelling all of this over the Christmas holidays. So I'm gonna wait to do the final coat when the panelling is up. My brother is gonna come back and finish this for me because I just do not trust myself um, painting that because we're gonna have to have some sort of scaffold plank across here and some kind of contraption. I think he said he can get a really long pole um, with a brush and like a roller and everything. So this can be sorted out. And then I need to choose a new light. This will be a really beautiful, big chandelier, really statement. Oh, it's gonna look gorgeous. And then we are planning to panel this whole section by the stairs here. So that will be all paneled with some really nice big boxes, um, just following the curve of the stairs down to the door. And then we will have a dado rail that follows, again, the curve of the stairs kind of going up and then across and then it will follow around into the hallway with like a half wall of panelling. And then I might put some artwork on the walls here. I might do a couple of frames, but we shall see. Not 100% sure yet. The main bathroom is very much a tool shed right now. I did have a bath in here last night amongst all these tools, but it was very much needed after a long day of painting. And then in the dressing room, we finally have some progress to show you. Now it is going to be a little bit dark because the light is slowly going, but if I stand with the window here, you can see we've got the wall paneled and painted and it is absolute perfection. So we get all of our moldings from B&Q. They've got such a huge range. It just looks absolutely incredible. I'm gonna show you this room again tomorrow morning because I don't think it's coming up that well on camera because of the lighting but how incredible does this look i really wanted this room to feel like when the door is shut you are just in one solid color um we are going to have coving up so that is why this paintwork is a little bit messy because um i didn't have to tape it up so we will have white coving along the top which will just blend into the ceiling really nice and seamless um but i can't believe how much taller these ceilings feel with these big boxes. It's absolutely amazing. I'm just so happy with it. And also today, I just touched up the wardrobe doors again. I filled all the little holes that I forgot to do last time. And I've actually just added a clear varnish to this just so that it stops it from scratching and peeling and things like that. So it's gonna stay really nice for a long time. And you may notice that we have a mirror in the wardrobe. And this wasn't necessarily planned, um, but now I've lived in the space and I kind of have realized what is gonna work in the space and I've lived in it and I know how it's gonna work practicality wise and everything like that. I kind of decided I wanted to have a mirror attached to the wardrobe just so that it's not getting in the way. Um, so I decided to put the Ikea one on. This is kind of a temporary idea because what I would like to do is use one of my normal Ikea doors and actually have two of them with, as you can see, this size panelling, but just follow it all the way down and then have mirror bespoke fit into it. But for now, this is absolutely fine. Um, you may notice we're missing a square here. We actually ran out of panelling, so this needs to be finished off. But I am absolutely over the moon. I just cannot tell you how happy I am with it. Um, the next thing I need to do is finish off this because as you can see, this is looking a little bit tatty. Um, this again will be panelled as well with just one big box. But as I said, we ran out of panelling and this actually needs to be sanded, primed and then painted. I actually didn't prime any of these other wardrobes. These are just the white wardrobes. Um, I just did three coats of paint and varnished on top and it's fine. Um, but this type of wood, it's a veneer. So yeah, as you can see, it just, the paint just doesn't hold. So I need to sand this back and sort that out um, another time. I'm just gonna leave that for now. But 
the room is ready for carpet, which is so exciting. So we are going to have the most beautiful cream carpet in here. It's kind of like a sizal, bobbly, oh, it's so gorgeous, really textured. That is going to go in here, and then the same carpet will also be in the hallway and our bedroom as well. So just really nice and seamless. I cannot tell you how happy it makes me to see this wall. Jack is not going to believe it because I didn't tell him I was painting today. Um, so he's going to be very impressed. <laughs> Next steps in the dressing room. I need to obviously get the carpet fitted. Hopefully that will be next week. So not long to go. And then I need to pick a fabric sample for a new stool. It's basically going to be exactly the same as this one, which is very battered and very old. I got this from the range and I think it was about 15 or 30 pounds or something. Um, and it's lasted me very well. I've had it for quite a while. So I want to get something really beautiful, maybe a pattern, maybe a colour. I'm thinking maybe green, sage green, um, potentially like a coffee colour. I'm not sure. I've ordered some samples so we can have a look at those downstairs. Um, I also need to choose samples for blinds in here. I really want to get some Roman blinds. Um, that I think I'm going to get some that fit within the recess, I think it's called. I don't know if that's right. Um, but they'll be kind of within the window so that if I close the blinds, you can still see all the white woodwork around. I think that would look really nice. And then the next thing I need to do is source a table. I want to get a little circular kind of like occasion table to go in this corner, um, just to add a little bit of coziness. Also very practical to have a table because often my dressing table gets so hectic with like my laptop, my hair stuff, my makeup, um, especially because I like to do a lot of filming and work in here. So it'll be really good to just have another work surface. And I'd like to have a lamp on this table as well. So I need to find a lamp, a table, I've also got to make a couple of decisions in terms of artwork because I'm undecided, maybe you guys can help me, what to do up here. I kind of want to do some artwork in these panels but I really don't know. I actually originally was going to have a mirror in the middle of this um, panel where I sit and do my makeup but we realised that when we'd put all the panels up I brought my dressing table in and my chair to like test it out and the height of this is just so ridiculous I wouldn't even be able to see myself in the mirror on the wall. So that is kind of when I made the decision to put the mirror on the wardrobes and at my dressing table I'm just going to have a normal kind of like tabletop dressing table mirror which is so much better. It means the room is so much more practical and I can actually use it for working purposes, filming purposes, I can just, it's a little bit more functional basically. I can't believe we are nearly finished in this room. We do have one big job that's still left to do which is boxing in the top of the wardrobes. Um, I think I want to get them boxed in and potentially have some cupboards up there but I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, but we've decided that we're just going to wait until next year to do that because it's not essential and um, it's probably going to cost a good amount to do that with John, um, our local carpenter, kind of like bespoke. So we're going to just wait for that. And to be honest, I don't know 100% if I want to do it. I am contemplating just getting some really beautiful boxes or like old trunks or something like that to put up there instead. Um, just because it could be quite good storage space. So yeah, kind of umming and ahhing on that one. But I've had so many deliveries, so let's go down and do some unboxings. Okay, let's open some parcels. I literally feel like I'm in a sorting office in this hallway. I've got laundry here, I've got parcels everywhere, we've got loads of bits for firework night because this Sunday is firework night and Jack's family do like an annual fireworks display. So Jack's been ordering loads of, I don't even know what's down here, loads of bits and bobs ready for that. But let's get into some parcels. As I was saying, on Friday night, I spent a good amount of time like organising my wardrobe and I realised that quite a few of my staple pieces that I have, that I reach for a lot, I don't love. 
and they don't fit that well and I've had them for ages so I wanted to replace some really good basics one of those being a white blazer and I love a blazer who doesn't they are such a good option for like dressing up an outfit and smartening up something I just absolutely love them and I, do you know what? I feel like my days of the oversized blazer have died. I am not really a fan anymore. I like them on other people, but on me, I think they just don't really look great. And don't get me wrong, I still love quite a lot of the outfits that I have worn in the past with oversized blazers. But I think there's a, a fine line between oversized and just way too big. So I'm much more preferring the almost like more fitted jacket style. I do still have oversized blazers and I do still love them but I wanted something a little bit smarter. The cream blazer that I do have I just I'm not in love with it so I was actually searching on House of CB which I haven't been on that website for god knows how long um, but we have a charity ball coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm in desperate need of finding an outfit. I have absolutely no idea what to wear um, so I was just having a look on the website, seeing what they had, seeing if anything caught my eye and I saw this jacket and when I tell you I ordered this immediately because I couldn't believe it was literally the evening that I decided I needed a new blazer. This is perfection. It's, it's obviously got all the tags on and everything, I do need to try it on. But this is a creamy white tailored blazer it comes in at the waist just absolutely stunning it's not too long oh the pleat details at the back are just gorgeous it's got these kind of like darts at the back so it really brings you in at the waist it's got shoulder pads i love a shoulder pad this is just stunning it almost looks a little bit kind of like vintage 90s vibes it actually looks very similar to a jacket that my mum used to have oh i love it so i got this in an extra small i'm hoping that this looks really lovely um but wow that is stunning absolutely love that so i'm gonna have to give that a try on and i will let you know what i think of that when we try them on and then i feel like my shoe collection is a little bit lacking i think i have cleared out my shoes so many times and i'm kind of left with the same old shoes that i wear constantly and i just felt like i didn't really have any options i'm always wearing knee high boots and it's just not working when i'm getting ready in the mornings or i'm going to london or i'm going for dinner i never know what to wear on my feet and i realized it's because i don't actually have any options which sounds crazy because you think i would but i just don't <laughs> so i placed an order on zara and i don't really shop that much at zara anymore but i really like their shoes they're really good quality and i have got that pair of knee high boots that i've had since i was 15 years old and they've only just fallen apart a little bit they've got the sole of the shoe has come off, so a stone has got stuck in the lining inside, and I cannot get it off. Jack has used the pliers, it's literally wedged right in the bottom. So every time I walk, it clip clops so loudly. So I need to take those to um, the menders and get them fixed. But I ordered some new boots, and these are very different to ones that I own. Um, very, very different indeed. But firstly are these a suede pointed toe chocolate brown heeled boot and the reason i chose these is because the heels are a really nice height they're not too high that they're going to be really uncomfortable but they are a little bit of height which i do like especially when i'm in london in winter in autumn i really like having a little bit of a heel i just feel like when i'm wearing big coats and trousers and knitwear because I'm quite short, if I've got that added bit of height, it just makes me feel a little bit more put together and like elevated, if that makes sense. 
So I picked up these, and I actually haven't looked at these yet, but wow, these are beautiful. So they've got a pointed toe, quite a wide sole actually. The sole kind of comes out in front of the suede, which I really like that detail. They are suede, so I'm gonna need to spray these with some protect. Um, they've got a little zip. They are absolutely beautiful. So I think I'm gonna try this on and check that it fits me. Otherwise, I might be sending these back. But you know I'm loving chocolate brown, so I just thought these are gonna work in my wardrobe really well. Oh yeah, they're comfortable. If I stand up here, you might be able to see. Really, really nice. They're, do you know what? They're actually a little bit big. I got my normal size three, but my feet are very small. No, I think that'd be fine. I am wearing quite a thin sock. Oh, I love them. Even with this outfit, I mean, not necessarily these jeans, I don't think, because it might look a little bit strange with a more straight leg jean, but it might look quite nice. I mean, it's not really giving the best light here, but really, really love those. They are really nice. And these were 79.99, so under 100 pounds for a suede chocolate brown heel boot. I think that's really good. And I really love the height of these, um, the height of the actual boot. It's quite flattering. And then I ordered a pair of black suede heels. Now, these are a very tiny weeny little heel. Um, actually quite jazzy, and they look very long. I don't know if these are going to be too long. How long does that boot look? Wow, I don't know if that's kind of giving like rumple stilt skin. Um, but the reason I got these is because I have my black leather ones from Office that need rehealing. Um, and I thought in the evenings it's quite nice to have a suede pair. And my mum actually used to have a black suede pair of boots, very similar to this, um, that she wore all the time. And I used to borrow them and I don't know what she did with them. I think she must still have them. She's had them for years and years. Um, and these were only £35.99. So I thought I'd get them and see what they were like. And worst case, I just have to return them. But the only difference is these are a sock boot. Um, so that you can't zip them up. They're not as daytime, they're a little bit more evening. But I don't know if that just looks a bit long. Oh my goodness me. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but... My actual toe ends here, and that's where the point is. Hmm. I'm not convinced on these, I'm not gonna lie. I think they're a little bit too pointy. That's such a shame because these are such a nice heel height. They're not too high. You can see there's like such a tiny heel. These would look really nice in the evening with like jeans and a nice top or a long dress and tights. Why have they made this boot so long? I kind of need the point to finish like there, but there's all that extra bit. I'm gonna see what Jack thinks, and I think I need to try them on properly with a right outfit and look in the mirror, but I'll let you know, I'll keep you posted. So that is all the clothing bits that I've got. I actually did place an H&M order last night because as I said, I have figured out some gaps in my wardrobe and just some classic staples that I wanted to add in and kind of replace some bits that I've had for ages that just need updating or I wanted to get like a better quality version of. Um, so that is what I ordered last night. So I think that's coming today or tomorrow. So I will show you that at some point. Now I'm not sure what is in here, but I have a feeling this might be my artwork. Yes, it is. So my artwork and my samples, fabric samples. So I'm gonna go into the kitchen so you can see these properly and we can go through it. And I'll clear this mess up later. <laughs> I wasn't lying when I said it looks like a sorting office. It's 
always such a mess in that hallway. Starting off with the artwork, this is from an independent brand called Trove. Um, I'm gonna link these pieces below. I actually got these on Etsy and I only ordered these on Sunday and they've already arrived and it's Tuesday today. So amazing delivery. Wow, that is beautiful. So these are kind of um, paintings, but they're printed on photo paper. Um, so they're really inexpensive. I couldn't believe the price of these. And I think when they are in a frame, they are going to look stunning. So I ordered a few different examples. Firstly is this really beautiful, I think these look like anemones, um, white vase of flowers but how beautiful are the colors in this and the tones i just thought it looked so stunning i was thinking this would look really nice in the dining room obviously these pieces will kind of fit everywhere so i'm gonna have a bit of a play around i think and now these prints are for the kitchen and or the hallway or the dressing room i've kind of got a few different ideas for these ones and i have actually got my frames from amazon here so these are ready to go in oh i hope i've got these in the right size <gasps> oh thank god they're the right size i got them to fit inside the mount because i love how an artwork piece looks with a white mount so i will show you the ones i got now again these were an incredible price and they are so beautiful they kind of look like you've sourced them from like an antiques shop or something. Oh my goodness, also apologies for the state of my hair because I've been painting all day, it's just such a mess. Firstly, I picked up this little brown jug. I just thought this was really cute. I thought this would work really, really nicely in the kitchen or anywhere to be honest. And then I got a little scenic one and the reason I got this is because it looks so similar to the woodland at the back of our house we have a stream and there's like a little walkway going across it and it looks so similar so i picked up this one as well how beautiful is that i don't even know if it's coming up as lovely on camera as it is in real life but i just think that is so stunning and it's such a nice thing to add something to the kitchen so i kind of want to have two frames up here underneath each other um just to add something because it's so white in here i think the artwork is going to work really nicely and then i got this little basil drawing which i thought was really cute me and jack are absolutely obsessed with basil so i just thought this was really pretty really lovely for the kitchen they had a few of these actually rosemary thyme I think they had coriander, loads of different ones, and I actually might get some more because they are so beautiful. And they've got the little Latin words at the bottom as well. Just so stunning. And then finally, I got this spring meadow, which just looks so pretty. I just loved the colors. I loved how soft it looks. And with our house, I really like to bring the surrounding areas into the house. And I just thought this looked really beautiful. And actually, it looks very similar to one of the fields at the farm. Jack's family have a rare buttercup field, which is like protected um, on their land. And it looks very similar to that. So all of these prints are going to go in my Amazon frames. These are the dark wooden frames. Very inexpensive. I will link all of these bits below, including the artwork, in case you want to have a look for yourself. Um, and then I need to decide where to put these. And I can put them up, which is brilliant because i have been waiting to get some artwork for ages now and i've been putting it off moving on to fabric samples i haven't looked at samples for such a long time i think when we first moved into the house i was sick of looking at samples because it's all i looked at paint samples floor samples oh my god sofa samples i actually have a drawer in the dining room that is just for samples I have so many, it's ridiculous. I ordered a few from The Pure Edit, which is actually a brand that I found on Instagram. Um, it is beautiful. They do everything bespoke, custom made. They do furniture, cushions, curtains in the most stunning fabrics. Really different to kind of the type of things you find elsewhere. 
So I ordered a few options. I really love this and I didn't think I would like this. I really, really like this. This is called Tari and this is in the moss shade. That is absolutely stunning. Imagine that as a stool. I think that will look beautiful. And then I also got this one, which is called Odila, and this is in the oat colour, so much softer. I'm not overly mad on this. I think it's just a little bit too big in terms of the print, um, especially because I'm only getting this in like a small stool. I think this is going to be a little bit too big. But that is very stunning. And this is the one that I thought I was going to go for. So this one's called Folia. This is in the Dove shade, which is definitely a little bit too light for the dressing room. I kind of want the stool to really stand out. And this is going to blend into the wall a little bit too much. So I know they do this fabric in a lot of other colours. So I think I'm going to have a look on and see see what other colours they do and maybe just order a couple of other samples um, but I think I want to go with green as my colour so I might see if I can order this one in the green and then we can go from there but I just think that's so beautiful kind of looks like oak leaves and we actually have an oak tree in the garden and the dressing room looks out onto the oak tree so I think that would be really lovely I always like having a reason for something. <laughs> I don't know why, I can't just say that I like it. But I always feel like I have to have an excuse as to why I'm choosing it. Anyways, next samples I've got are from Blinds To Go. And I don't know about you guys, if you've got the same For You page as me, I get served Blinds To Go ads constantly. It's all I'm seeing. And great marketing because it's actually made me order the samples because I think it's an incredible service. So I have ordered tons of samples. I think we chose 10 to choose from. And these are actually going to be all around the house. We need to get blinds everywhere. So yes, we've got some to look at. I'm not going to show you them all one by one like I just did. I think I'll show you them on the table because otherwise we will be here all evening this is a little look at the samples that we picked up oh that one's upside down so i got a mixture of different types we've got some stripes we've got some patterned ones i really love this one that is so beautiful i don't know where that could go but i absolutely love that um we've got some simple linen ones this is really beautiful a william morris print that is stunning Lots of linens in different shades because I love the texture of linen. It's definitely my favourite. I really love this one in the Paleo Linen Biscotti. That is really beautiful. I also really like this one as well. I think that would be really beautiful somewhere. Um, so the next task is to decipher where all of these are going to go. Now in my dressing room, which is the one I would really like to order first, I think... I need to find something that's going to match to the fabric of the ottoman that I'm getting. So I don't need it to match identically, but it would be nice if it kind of coincides. So if I got this one, for example, I would probably go for a blind that's maybe a little bit softer. So something like this or potentially a little bit more fabricy. I probably wouldn't go for like a clash of prints. I just, that's not really my style. Um, so we shall see. But if I do go for this one in the greeny colour, then I might go for something a little bit more patterned. But we'll see. I think it will be nice to have a more neutral. Actually, that's really nice together, isn't it? I wonder if they do this one in a sage this is a dove gray which i just thought was really lovely really soft could be quite nice in the kitchen actually i quite like a striped curtain blind in the kitchen i don't think jack's gonna get on board with that but i really love it <laughs> so yes lots to think about here lots to think about indeed but i'm gonna get on the line and order this one in another color i think and this is why it's so good to order samples. The artworks are now in the frames and they look absolutely 
incredible how beautiful is this so i need to pick which ones i want to have on the wall i'm thinking on this wall i want to have two can you see me i don't think you can <laughs> i think i want to have two like this above each other i think that's going to look really lovely um i just need to work out which ones my first thought is obviously the basil and i think the woodland because it's literally out there so i think that would be really nice i don't know what height to do these at i think they kind of have to be in line with the wall but not too low so i'm gonna see what jack thinks when he gets home but i absolutely love these honestly these frames are so inexpensive and so were the prints and they just look so beautiful i just stuck them to the mount with a little bit of masking tape so you can still peel it off really easily but it means they're not going to fall and move out the way oh i just absolutely love them i think these two in my dressing room would look really lovely i just don't know where to put them but i want these everywhere but yeah super happy trove actually have their own website lovingly restored vintage art They've got an Instagram, Trove Prints, and they do have a website, troveprints.co.uk, but I got these from Etsy, so um, I'll link them below where I bought them from, because it was really good delivery on Etsy, and I just, oh, got some masking tape and stuff to me. Um, yeah, I just love Etsy, it's so good. So, I need to have a big tidy up, clear out all this rubbish, take the recycling out, get the bin out, because it is bin day tomorrow, and get myself sorted for the evening because tomorrow I am in London for a really lovely event and I just want everything to be done so that when I get home on Wednesday it's the evening and I can just chill and everything's done. You let me know what you think of the fabrics and also your opinions on the dressing room if I should put frames in the panelling or not. I'm not 100% sure. I think I'll show you it again tomorrow morning once I've got my dressing table and everything's in there again. Um, and we can go from there. My H&M parcel has just arrived and I have unboxed it and started trying on and I thought, what am I doing? I need to be filming this. So I thought I would share with you what I picked up and just try it on and style them up. So I think I'm gonna need to move the camera because you can't see the full length. It's also getting darker and darker, so apologies if the lighting isn't the best, but hopefully you can see the full length. Now, these trousers are new. I will link everything below. I wanted to get some tailored trousers that would just be really simple, everyday, really nice fitting, and just a neutral colour for autumn, winter. I love wearing tailored trousers like this while I'm at home, when I'm running errands, when I want to be like a little bit smarter in London. I just love them. It's almost like wearing smart joggers because they're so comfortable and easy to wear but they still look really polished and slick. So I really like these. I think Ideally, they could do with a little bit less fabric around the legs. I always find this. It's often around like this section. There's just a bit too much fabric, but I'm pretty sure I could get that tailored. In terms of the leg length, I really like this length. They're not too cropped, but they're also not way too long that I'm gonna need to take them up. They're kind of the perfect leg length for me. I just put these on with a white shirt just to show you how they look um but i think if i had a really nice belt a nice bag a tailored jacket blazer or something or a coat i think these are really lovely such a nice color as well they're just a really nice neutral sandy beige probably do need a little bit of steam i've literally just got these bits straight out of the packet and i'm so sorry about this lighting i'm really hoping this is not coming up too dark <laughs> Next up, I got a new knit. I kind of wanted to just add some bits to my wardrobe that were going to be key staple pieces that I can style up through the seasons and they're just really nice basics. 
So this is a v-neck mohair blend knit jumper and I'm going to try it on with this shirt because I'm imagining styling this up with a white shirt underneath just to give that little pop of the white tailoring. I really like a pop of a white shirt with a v-neck jumper. I think it just looks really smart and it kind of just gives that classic smart look. Now, I probably wouldn't wear it with these trousers, to be honest. I think I would go for like white jeans or even denim jeans, I think would look really nice. But just to show you this knit on, it is absolutely beautiful. I got this in a size extra small and you can see it is quite oversized. The arm length is pretty long, but I think when you've kind of like played around with it, rolled up the sleeves a little bit, just has that really nice effortless feel to it. I love it with this shirt as well. I actually don't have many v-neck jumpers. I've got a cream one, which is so old, and I've just recently got a gray, and this is my favorite, favorite color for autumn. So I really wanted to add this in. And I don't know if you can see on camera, but the mohair wool blend is just so beautiful. It's such a nice texture to add to your outfit this season. So yeah, I really like this. It's quite a nice length as well. I think if I was wearing some white skinny jeans um, and this was untucked, I think it would actually work really nicely, but obviously I could do my little trick of tucking it up and then in. Definitely not with these trousers, the, the tones do not go. But just to get, give you an idea of the knit, I think this is lovely. These next trousers are a little bit of a wild card, I think. I'm not sure how I feel about them. They aren't super high-waisted, which is not my favourite. I would love them to be up here. I like a really, really high waist that sits like actually on my waist whereas these sitting a lot lower um i actually think if i worked in an office these trousers would be incredible because they're really smart they've got really lovely pleats down the front which i always love i love the material it's kind of like a herringbone tweed wool cotton kind of vibe it's really lovely it's like flecked so it kind of looks very smart, like a suit vibe. They have actually got little slits at the bottom. So they're kind of like a straight leg um, with a tinsy bit of a flare at the bottom. And oh, I'm not sure. I think I wouldn't style these up with a shirt. I think it looks a little bit too corporate and I don't need to dress like that. So I think it's kind of just not really the right style. I do love the trousers. I just don't know how much I would wear these because they are quite long and because of the slit, I can't really just take them up with some wonderwear. Um, and I also won't really be able to wear these with flats just because they are long. I think I would like them more if they were more like that more of like a cropped yeah see I prefer that so much already I mean I actually could take these up with the cropped leg I think that looks a lot nicer um, but I was kind of imagining styling these down so let me pop on my next piece and I will show you what I mean so this next piece is a grey cable knit jumper I, oh, I've got fluff all on my face. I absolutely love a cable knit jumper. I, the cream one that I was wearing earlier, I wear that every single season I bring it back out. I've had it for three years from H&M and it's still absolutely amazing. So I was kind of imagining styling this pair of trousers a little bit more casual. So you've got a little bit of a heel, a really smart trouser and then a nice oversized knit which I do really, really like this vibe. I think I often see this on other girls and I really like the style of this, but I don't know if it's very me. Do you see what I mean? Like the, the trouser, the smartness with the oversized, I really like that. And I like the fact that these are a little bit slimmer than the other ones. 
but I'm just not sure on this pleat detail at the bottom. I think if I was to keep these, I would definitely get them taken up into more of a cropped trouser because I think day to day, I am not going to be wearing a kitten heel. I'm most likely going to be wearing a ballet flat. So let me pop these on. Or I might wear like a pair of boots. I definitely think the cropped leg length works so much nicer on me. Um, and it's just a bit more practical. I do love them a little bit longer, but I'm too small to wear that with trainers or like flats. Oh, I really like this. This again is a really good everyday outfit for being at home, being comfortable, kind of like what I was wearing earlier, but just with smarter trousers. And then I can obviously dress these trousers up or down. I do really like these. I like the fit of them. The only thing I would change is that they're just not super, super high-waisted. They're much more of like a mid-rise, I would say. Um, I think if they were high-waisted, I would need them to sit like here rather than just at my belly button. But yeah, I do really like this look. They're very, very comfortable as well, very comfortable. So I got both of these trousers in a size six and they fit me perfectly. So I definitely would stay true to size. Um, this knit, I also got in an extra small and you can see it's quite big. So I would definitely stick to your normal size, but yeah, I really like this actually. I'm definitely gonna keep this jumper. Not 100% on these trousers, to be honest. Let me know what you think down below. Do I keep them and take them up or do I just return them and not worry about it. <laughs> I have one more piece to share with you and this blouse is absolutely beautiful. Honestly, look at this. I just think this is beautiful. It's so stunning. Oh, I can't wait to get this on. So I'm gonna do an outfit. When I was sorting out my wardrobe on Friday evening, I realized that I'm really lacking in the evening wear department and I just don't have options for really beautiful evening wear tops or trousers and things like that so it's something that I'm currently on the hunt for and this blouse is absolutely stunning I feel like this is going to be such a good staple in my evening wardrobe it's a really lovely lightweight cotton so it's really fine really really soft it just feels really feminine and delicate and I really love that. But to offset that, I've styled it with my khaki leather trousers. These are faux leather from Mango. I got these, I think last year, and I still absolutely love them. They're a really lovely color of like a dark olive green. And I've also just popped on my little Zara um, kitten heels just to go with it, just to style it up a little bit. But this is such a nice outfit for dinners. I feel like often I go for dinners for birthdays or occasions, me and Jack go out for dinner for like a date night and I don't really have options to wear that feel dressy and they don't feel like my day-to-day -day wardrobe. I just always end up going for all black and it's so boring so I love this. I am definitely going to be getting some wear out of this in the next couple of weeks. Um, we have a few things on so definitely we'll be wearing this and oh i just love it i got this in an extra small by the way and it's just beautiful so lovely i also thought i would just show you the house of cb jacket on because i realized i didn't show you them how absolutely stunning is this jacket i cannot believe the fit of this i think this was about 150 pounds um and it honestly feels like it's been tailored to my body look at the silhouette this blazer is giving me oh my gosh it's beautiful so i've just got this on with the same jeans that i've been wearing all day and i'm also gonna pop on these same zara kitten heels just to show you how to wear this like for a kind of more daytime smart look but equally if you wore this with some tailored trousers maybe those um, grey ones that I was just wearing from H&M that would look so incredible 
and I'm kind of imagining wearing this to some kind of like really lovely dinner with a silk slip skirt or a slip dress underneath and then kind of make it look like a skirt with a pair of heels I think that would be so beautiful this is just such a classic I also would love to wear this with some matching trousers as like a suit I think that would be absolutely incredible but yeah the fit of this is just stunning so this is definitely a keep for sure well, I think I'm going to end the video there because it's probably quite a long one and it's nearly the evening so I need to get myself ready for London tomorrow. But do let me know what you think of all of these pieces I've shown you and I will chat to you in the comments, which I always love. I love chatting to you in the comments. It's always one of my favourite parts of uploading to YouTube. And I will see you in the next vlog and regular programming will now resume. I'm sorry that I took a couple of days off of um, scheduled videos but we're back and lots of exciting things are happening in the next couple of months Christmas Jack's birthday we've got a couple of staycations booked in so it's going to be really lovely so I hope you stick around and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye